Okay, welcome back to Billy Ho Sports. More fall racing. We head out to Del Mar for the Bob Hope Stakes. So far, just seven nominees to talk about. So we'll get through this pretty quickly. I don't have any past performances yet, but that's not too bad. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, Tim Yachtine and his promising colt, McKenzie Street. That uh, colt is sired by McKenzie, whose uh, first crop of youngsters this year really uh, be, been shining in the fall, Chancellor McPatrick, we know how good he's been. Quick Kick, another one's been really good. And Scottish Lassie, they've all made noise back east. Now, this one is the West Coast Colt. Uh, one that's first out, ran second in the Del Mar Futurity. Third in the American Pharaoh. Had a minor injury in training, so Yak Team decided to scratch him out of the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Uh, and uh, that's good uh, to be cautious with these uh, young horses. So you don't want to push them into big time races if you don't have to. Uh, you can't have a stakes race at Del Mar without Bob Baffert. Obviously, he has three of the seven nominees. It is what it is. So let's get to it. Uh, Kalia Bay, that's sired by Authentic, one of Baffert's Derby winners, broke his maiden at Santa Anita after two tries at Del Mar. Uh, something I look for is improvement every race. He went from third to second to first. Marked improvement every race. Maiden score came easily for Flavian Pratt. Kept his foot down on the gas through the finish line. Another Baffert horse, Emerald Bay, sired by another Kentucky Derby champion in Nyquist. Broke his maiden second out at Del Mar before running fourth in the American Pharaoh. So this Baffert horse, a little further along, I think maiden score was at a mile, uh, further distance-wise. Uh and then went to a mile and a 16th. Both of those races, two turns. So the third uh, nominee for Baffert is a first-time starter uh, by Quality Road by the name of uh, Mad, uh, Madiket Road. So keep an eye out. May not run here. Also entered in a maiden special weight at Churchill Downs Saturday. So I'm going to give that a I'm going to give that a look as well. Uh, second, all, also eligible in a field of 12, so we'll, we'll see if he draws in or not. Uh, Baffert may just decide to keep him out west, but maybe just wants to test that Churchill Downs dirt as well. So anyway, I've got the PPs for that, so I'll be looking at that one closely. Uh, and then uh, can't leave out Doug O'Neill as well. Perenner, perennially, <laughs> say that five times fast, been a top trainer out west, obviously, his horse, Dr. Ruben M., is sired by Vino Rosso, very good sire in his own right, in his second go-around after his solid first crop. A win and two seconds and four starts. Pressed Emerald Bay hard for about seven furlongs before giving it away, then bounced back after that to break his maiden at Santa Anita, was a very good effort as the fifth choice on the board that day, seven to one odds. And the fact it was a two turn mile and not out of the chute, I think is important as well. Uh, another one of my low key, uh, I have some low key favorite trainers. One of those is Mike McCarthy. Uh, and he's, he's not your Bob Baffert, Todd Pletcher, Chad Brown, Brad Cox types, but he's very, very good. He trains Bullard by gun runner. Uh, I've made no bones about how much I think of Gunrunner as a sire. Obviously, he's very, very well known. So, one for one, he defeated Baffert's two to five mega chalk Kalia Bay going six furlongs. Uh, well off the fiery pace by the favorite. Went 21 and 93 for the opening quarter, 45 19 for the half. Uh, was a bit precocious loading into the gate, got off slowly. But once he was in range at the top, top of the stretch, he definitely closed like a banshee, blowing by the winner and won by more than a length. So one last nominee, which is Maximus, trained by Cesar uh, de Alba, sired by Maximus Mischief, made his debut with a win October 20th at Santa Anita, uh, showing a strong turn of foot into the stretch, going six furlongs, and pulled away by open lengths. 
the Bob Hope is going to be very interesting race. Uh, Bob and Bob alike, I think probably Bob Baffert, one of his horses will get it done here. I don't uh, know if anybody else. Uh, Doug O'Neill's Dr. Ruben M could be interesting as far as that goes. So once the PPs come out, I'll, I'll get a better idea on that one. But that's all I have for that race. That's just a preview. Maybe we'll go back and wrap things up with a betting video later on in the week. Until then, thanks for watching.